So hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizzy Walsh eventing vlog. We are off to Castle Hill to do the arena eventing higher. Don't worry, not a competition. Um, so if you remember last time I went to arena eventing at Castle, it was a bit of a disaster and says you only got to fence two. So yeah, it's quite a big venue. It's quite um, like there's lots going on when there's a competition and there was also a show jumping competition going on at the same time. So she was a well, like she was just too overwhelmed and she just shut down on me completely. An idiot of me to like think that she could have managed that for her first ever in eventing competition. Sounds a very sens like sensitive horse. So um, yeah, bit of an idiot move, but hey ho, we learn, we learn, don't we? And look where we are now. So we'll see how she gets on today. I'm meeting up with my friend from Instagram, Olivia. Um, I will link her profile there because uh, she has a little YouTube channel as well and she vlogs. She's got the lovely Bambi, who is her four-year-old. Uh, Bambi's quite green, she can be quite spicy, so it'll be interesting to see how we get on, so enjoy! So I thought I would show you the snippets of mine and Seren's round from last year when we tried our first go at Castle Hill Arena eventing. And you can already see, she just doesn't have the canter at all. And just says, nah, get lost mum. Um, yeah, it was quite embarrassing, but I'm used to this now, aren't I? Let's be honest. <laughs> so from this vlog today, I really hope you see a difference in Seren because I saw a massive difference in her, her shape, the way she goes, her canter, and just her whole attitude to what she's doing. So I thought I'd do a little tour of what I I'm just tidied it up basically, so I thought I'd just show you. So I've got two girths, I've got a stud girth in there. Even though I'm not going to be doing any grass work really. Um, the vet said to me when I got Seren Scope that actually stud girths are quite good because they spread out the pressure on their belly. So um, I do use it every now and again. I've got my bridle cover when we do shows. I've got my saddle cover. I've also got my brand new, very expensive uh, body protector, but it was needed. So we're just going to ignore that. <laughs> um, I got a bag of treats. And I've got some cotton wool in there for when I have the studs in. And I've got some face wipes for my hands, my face when I'm a sweaty mess. And also says his eyes and stuff. I've got two rugs, so a bit dirty, don't judge me. Um, she's got a fluffy rug for travelling in. And she's also got a waterproof rug for just like if it shows. And she needs to stand around and she can have her waterproof on. Then I've got a number of saddle pads there. In there, I've got loads of gloves and I've got some men and tail. In here, I've got my bag of boots. A ridiculous amount of them head. But actually, I've got a Feebin in here. So um, I've been finding it really handy, actually. Uh, I've used it every time I've gone out, to be honest, just to encourage someone to go in or if someone else is having trouble with loading with their horse, then you can always give them a hand, can't you? A bucket, obviously. I do need to get a water bucket. That's what I definitely need to do, get a water bucket. She's got a water tank there, step. Um, they're her travel boots, the lunge line, which is coming in handy a lot lately. Seven's just been a bit reluctant to load, um, so I've got them. And then I've got some, my fly bills are in there. I've got my cross country hat, so my non peaked hat, and I've got my peaked hat there for when I do dressage, which looks like general schooling. I've got loads of bits and bobs in there, so um, in my hat silks and my GoPro stuff. And then in there, I've got my numbers. Um, loads of spare clothes as well, like waterproofs, Callum's Co. Um, I've got some high biz there, and I've also got my number, Simon's passport, and everything else in there as well. So, yeah, it's pretty organised now. Oh, and don't forget um, Poopy Scoopy, Broom, and yeah, Scoops. Thank you. 
So we are on at Kelsall Hill. Um, Liv is just deleting some stuff off her camera. She's got a nice posh camera and I've got my little phone. Um, we're just in the big arena at Kelsall. So it's got the water. So is literally just, as I was changing my stirrups, it's just walked through the water. So she's clearly not asked and she just seems super chill like she is not bothered about what's going on around her so it's pretty damn good good girl says he good girlie the water you go look at this this is just a different pony last year good girl well done clever mare clever girl <laughs> <laughs> He's like, why is Sarah in cantering? Go on, canter. Does he? Good lass. Good girl. Good girl. Whoa. Whoa. That was my body protector. So whenever I approach a new fence now that's cross country, I'm always going to come back to trot like it's just the best way to do it. And then let, if Seren feels confident enough, that's when I can let her canter into it. So you'll see with this one, I come in trot and I kind of just let her take the lead. So she's obviously a bit unsure, so she just trots it. But you'll see her confidence grow as the session goes on. Like she was literally pulling my hands out to jump some of these. She just fell absolutely mega like it just feels like everything's finally coming together and it's all because i've been working on a canter and a canter is so much more balanced now that she's got the confidence in herself to kind of be like yeah i can jump that easy um and even further on in the session you'll see that she even like Sorry, lands balanced she um changes her legs over the fences so it just makes everything right, right. so much more rideable and you'll see that because she's got a canter as well, we're hitting those strides. We're not Wait. getting that stuttery, horrible, Wait. weird back leg thing that she does when she's a bit unsure. So yeah, it's absolutely chuffed with her the whole time. Like she was just so rideable and it just makes so much difference to my confidence. Like this bit here. So I slowed her right down. I was um and ahhing to go back to trot because that was the first time we jumped it. But she just took my hand. She was just took everything just so confidently. I mean, yeah, they're a bit small for her, so she just kind of ran over those. But this, she is just taking control here. Like, she is just saying, I'm really confident, Mum. Like, you can tell when she's confident, she takes off early, she takes flyers, she's not bothered. But see, I'm done that one, come back to Good spot, girl. she's like, yep, got that. And it just gives her that time just to have a little look at it. Gives me time to kind of prepare myself as well. 
And yeah, it's just Yay! working for us and just a sitting bath as well. So um, you'll see here, she just is so easy going, like the canter is just so nice that it's just given me all the confidence in the world just to go around and everything just felt really easy breezy for us. So I was just really chuffed I did that session with Liv. We had the best time. So yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. Hope you enjoyed my little waffle, but I just wanted to let you know like what I was feeling during that time because it just felt so good. Like it feels like I could jump like 80s on an hour easy, but obviously just want to get a confidence, which is what I've been doing the whole time. Don't scare yourself. Dirty. Get out yourself, girl. Get back, legs back. Sit back, legs back. Sit back, legs back. Good, Seren. Start recording. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, Sarah, good girl. Woohoo! Good, Sarah. Good. Good girl. Oh, well done, Liv. Go. You are. <laughs> You mega mare. Shit, Seren. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. It's fine. I'll drink that. Fill it on instead. Thank you. 
Good girl! I would love to try a cross country fence, but that one's probably just a straight. Or oh, that one there, it's a little bit. Oh, yeah, just for that one. I've got my head straight, can't I? Yeah. It does go by first time, I know that, but. Yeah, but that didn't any stuff, did it? Yeah. You've got her going now. Yeah, bless. She's just like a mare. <laughs> a, mare. <laughs> a typical mare. So what an absolute superstar she was. She jumped everything. I put her out, she didn't stop at anything today. Did you? You even jumped a big show jump, didn't you? Mwah, clever pony. We're in Hope Valley. We've ended up in Hope Valley. <laughs> this is not good. Right, but I do need to get a body protector because mine burst open. <laughs> but they're nice, look at them, they're so nice. So she has been an absolute superstar today. Um, poor Liv with Bambi. Bambi is a very difficult youngster. She's so opinionated and she did so well with her. But bless her, yeah, I just felt sorry for her because it's so frustrating. Like, Bambi, she's not even bothered about the jumps. She's just being a bit of a pillock. Um, but yeah, that's where we were last year, wasn't it? So, you yeah, know, it's, it's kind of a learning curve and it's just going to take some time, really. But it was so nice to meet Liv. As I said, like, Instagram's the best place to meet people um, and make friends. So yeah, buzzing. And she was amazing. She didn't stop at anything. She didn't even look at any of the cross country fences. She was superb. Um, I have just been to get a body protector fitted because the one that I've been wearing is, I'm a bit of a cheapskate basically. <laughs> so I got it in an auction and it fit all right. But at the back, it was far too long. And um, basically, it's just like, it won't fit around my boobs. Uh, I'm sick of having to get people to help me in to my body protector. 
and uh, it's also not safe either because it's too low at the back so actually when John was trying to tell me to sit right back and when I'm trying to sit right back to do the cross country jumps I can't <laughs> because my body protector is getting caught on the saddle so I bit the bullet and just went and got measured um, I went to Hope Valley first of all but they only had race safe and I don't really want to pay race safe when you can get a champion for cheaper and the same quality so I've just been to our local stable saddlery and got fitted there really quickly literally popped in got her feed um, and we're fitted so yeah my new body protector so that was a very expensive trip out says he bear wasn't it well you oh you were blooming super duper like the way she was jumping I'm excited about next year <laughs> because she was awesome like she's actually properly jumping now because i can't just get in there so yeah well yeah i hope you enjoyed this vlog um if you did don't forget to <laughs> like share follow and subscribe for more and uh, thanks for watching a new place.